I'd like to take this time to apologize to you, the viewers, and oh. Morgan. What we're about to show you is disturbing oh. in nature. <laughs> uh. We have made the tough decision to go back and watch the Lakers' 21 nothing run to start the fourth quarter in L.A. last night. Viewer discretion advised. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. And look, the end of the third... Good finish here. Fox hits a three. He's count one, two, three. You're thinking, man, the Kings up 94, 87. That's awesome. A great way to go into the fourth. So let's dive into this fourth quarter. That was not pretty for Sacramento. Up 94, 87. First play. How about the movement by the Lakers? You see Russell screening. You see movement. Connect moving without the ball. LeBron cutting. And Dalton Connect gets a beautiful three ball. Free flowing offense. And just like you said, you know Connect is going to shoot this basketball. So, okay, what else would you like to see here? Maybe Alex Len kind of get up into Connect a little bit more. Contested, put the pressure. You're seven sure. Points. Exactly. Get that hand up. And maybe you're worried about Hayes. Well, you got to trust your help behind you as well. Yeah, but a nice shot there. But okay, it's all right. They, they hit a three. They're making a little push here. Let's see how the Kings respond. Well, Keegan Murray misses a great look from three and LeBron, a great job pushing the ball ahead. And now you got cross matches, right? Who's picking up LeBron? Fox has to come out, but LeBron's in rhythm. He's feeling confident in this game. Buries a three, all of a sudden it leads down to one. You said it, in rhythm. And that's what LeBron was in all game long. So you already know that he's making his shots tonight. There needs to be a little bit more urgency, especially at the top of the fourth. So the Lakers make a couple of shots. Okay, how are the Kings going to respond? Well, on the other end, DeRozan, I know he can make tough shots in the mid range. This one is just a tough one over Jackson Hayes, air ball. And now LeBron James has it. Full steam ahead. Herter's got a pickup ball. LeBron draws contact from him, a foul on the floor. But, you know, the, the, can you get a better shot than that? You know, I don't know. Maybe we're saying something differently if, you know, DeRozan hits that shot, but I, I think the Kings offense can get something better. I'm with you. It's just a quick shot, Deuce. You want, you want, they have the lead still at this point. You want to make sure that they're getting the best shot, not the first shot. And look what it turned into. It turned into LeBron James going downhill and drawing a foul. Okay, so sideline out of bounds after that foul. Hayes and LeBron getting the two-man game, and King gets really caught up on the screen. Trying to spin out of it, but couldn't recover. Hayes pushes him toward the paint. And then Len gives him too much space. Yeah, Len with a late reaction. LeBron James already in rhythm, making all the shots, especially these mid-range shots. Now, even if that was Sabonis out there, because Sabonis is not in the game at this moment in time, and it was Sabonis coming after LeBron, I feel like LeBron still had would had enough time and space to get that type of shot off. But these are the mistakes that you just see being made at the top of this fourth possession after possession after possession so now the lakers have the lead it's 95 94. i think if i'm at this point if i'm mike brown i'm calling a timeout you lost the lead they've got momentum i know it's less than a minute into the fourth quarter or just a little over a minute into the fourth quarter but call a timeout and talk about things we've seen him call a timeout 10 seconds into a game call a timeout and, and get domas a bonus in there that's a great point well there is no timeout called at this point the kings Miss on the other end, and then here we go again, where Fox is in a tough spot here. He is picking up LeBron James in transition. That's not good news. LeBron, nice little swim move, and look at the action. They swing it around, they're patient, they get LeBron on that mismatch and one. Yeah, Hayes was stretching the floor, which pulled Alex Len out. And then, like you said, you saw LeBron James just battling against De'Aaron Fox in there, getting position. And doing I'm glad a great you brought job. this up because you said, like, Hayes stretching the floor, where he's not a three point shooter. Mm -hmm. So if you're Alex Len, you got to help in this situation. I'm not worried about Jackson Hayes on the perimeter here. Oh, I dare you to shoot a, a three Jackson Hayes. <laughs> He's not doing it. I'd much rather be a situation where Len comes over and picks up LeBron and then Fox goes back out to Hayes. Instead, it's an and one opportunity. The momentum's completely in the Lakers' favor here and still no timeout. Uh, next possession was interesting to say the least. So DeMar DeRozan, Dribble handoff, gets downhill. I thought maybe he had Fox on the cut, but to be honest, the defender's there, taking up a lot of space. Maybe he doesn't see him. He finds Keegan. Deard's wide open. 
But De'Aaron hesitates and then has this like one foot fall away. So you talk about where DeRozan didn't see him. It's because Hayes came up on him. Yeah. Completely took away his vision even on that cut by De'Aaron Fox when he was open right there on that right side. But you see here in the dunker spot where Keegan finds him, he hesitates. Why did he not just take a power dribble and go up for a layup? You know, we're at a different angle. You can see maybe he was going to just push a little bit further out. But I think the hesitation and the yes. decision making, yes. it that, that was just not crisp enough in the fourth quarter. It, it, look, if you don't notice it right away, fine. You have the angle, but then why is it, hey, there's 12 seconds on the shot clock. Let me do a one foot fall away over a long defender in Rui. And so we talked about the defense last night, but there was bad offense through stretches too for Sacramento that, what do you know, hurts you on the other end. Now this next play, Lakers are up by four and D'Lo and Hayes are getting the two man action. Keegan's playing way too off LeBron in this situation, Morgan. He's in rhythm, you know? And I know like he got there to contest, but you're still, I, I want you attached to LeBron. Well, I mean, anyone that's on LeBron should be attached to LeBron in this game. When he is shooting well, he's going to continue to shoot well when you're rhythm, when you're feeling it. And that's exactly what LeBron was doing all game long. But then to start this fourth, that's what he's doing. Again, what was the word I used in the beginning of this? Urgency and not enough urgency and physicality here. And when the contest comes, LeBron's already jumping in the air, releasing a shot. Okay, so after that, we finally get a Kings timeout, Morgan, and then the Kings turn it over right away. Uh, Sabonis throws it off to Rosen, and now the Lakers have the rock again. And Sabonis here, switch on the LeBron. And the mistake here, in my opinion, was he gave up middle the way he turned his body. It's like you said, we want to see guys play up in LeBron. He's making his shots and doing everything. But you got to also be able to stay with him. You got to be able to make sure that you're sitting down in a stance and you see here Sabonis just kind of loses him on that side of him. Trey Lyles tries to do a great job of just sacrificing his body and taking this charge, but, but then the help never was there to be able to rotate over to Hayes. Yeah, Lyles is in no man's land, and it's funny because LeBron released the ball. Lyles flopped like crazy on that play, so there was no call. Okay, next play almost three minutes into the quarter, and the Kings haven't scored. They get a Malik Monk three here, 14 on the shot clock. No good. You know, you see this possession start with that dribble handoff from DeMar and Domas right here, but they never actually touch the paint once mm. again. The amount of times that we saw the ball go from left to right, especially there in the fourth when they weren't scoring, they weren't attacking enough. This isn't a terrible shot by Malik. We've seen him make this before, but when you're not working it all the way in, Deuce, you're just not even working the defense. And you need a bucket so bad. And they, then it goes out of bounds. Deuce, a couple possessions ago, we talked about Sabonis not sitting in a stance up on LeBron. Look at him doing a great job sitting down in a defensive stance. He's ready. He's not going to let him go middle again. And LeBron just is like, There's nothing I'm going to get mine. Yeah. You Sabonis did everything he could in this possession. And honestly, in this situation with in the game, I think I would have just had Sabonis on LeBron. They actually did that a little bit last year in games, especially with AD down on the floor. I would have just had him on there, but yeah, there was nothing Sabonis could have done there. You got to throw different looks at LeBron. So the Kings still haven't scored. Get a great look from Lyles, no good. And this is just like the Kings luck. Ball goes off Sabonis. It's the spray three that you want to <laughs> see. You know, you see Malik pushing up the floor, getting to Domas. Domas finding the open man. Lyles just not being able to knock it down. And then the final play of the 21 nothing run. This just is backbreaking. Oh, I mean, come God. on. Trey Lyles falls asleep on LeBron. It looks like he gets caught ball watching. LeBron with a nice fake, cutting to the basket. Easy bucket. He, I could sit here and say that just can't happen. But the, the reason why I am saying it like that is because of how deflating it is, right? And already they've been running on your ass. And then to finish off this big run, they mm. do something so simple with a LeBron James backdoor cut, no help there. Like you said, ball watching, sleeping, whatever you want to call it. It's just truly the way that this Kings team played at the beginning of this fourth quarter was not cute. So the Lakers go on a 21-0 run in less than four minutes of the fourth quarter. And that's pretty much the game. Now the Kings got back into it and mm -hmm. they made it interesting at the end, 
but these are the things that just can't happen if you want to be they a legit would, team in the West. They wouldn't have had to make it interesting if things like this didn't happen, right? And how many times did we talk about this last season when it was, if they just didn't do this at the end of the third, or if they just didn't let this team go on this big run in the beginning of the game, they would have never been in that situation in the first place. And you just hope that they're going to learn from these mistakes quick. Yeah, they got to learn very quick. They take on the Blazers coming up Monday. Oh, and by the way, one last thing, because, you know, we when we do these videos, I feel like it's always, the Kings did this wrong, blah, 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 blah. did a lot wrong. Got to give some love to this Lakers offense right now. Oh LeBron James, God. this old ass man, yep. is doing old incredible things. A triple-double last night, AD's been a monster too. So let us know what you thought in the comments. Yeah, and on top of that, I mean, you talk about those two, but I really truly feel like everyone's also getting involved in that offense. Yep. Um, Ruiz look good, Austin Reeves. Under JJ Redick right now, it's looking good. Couple yes. games in, we'll see how it continues. Let us know what you thought about the run. What can the Kings do better? What do you think about the Lakers? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Deuce and mo. Deuce and mo. Deuce and mo. They tell you what they know. Deuce and mo. Deuce and mo. Deuce and mo. The 